Hi guys, so today I want to share with you how I am creating a webtoon on my iPad. Now, um, I do want to address a common misconception with webtoons, and I think this is just like a misconception just because um, with webtoons uploading size, it's supposed to be 800 by 1280. This is about, for this webtoon, I usually, let me click to edit, I usually size my canvases double that because I like to zoom in closely so I can do like finer details when I'm drawing but when I resize it it will go back down to let me go ahead and just boop, 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 boop. so it will go down to webtoons uploading size which is 800 by 1280 this is like 800 by 1200 it's close enough so that's what I like to do when I'm creating my webtoons now a lot of people are confused because I've seen a lot of people online who might have been just a little confused just because they're like, well, how can you fit a whole entire webtoon into a small box like this when you look onto webtoons app and it looks like this, like a long vertical scrolling webtoon. And actually with vertical scrolling webtoons, they're just multiple images that have been cut up individually and uploaded separately. So let me just show you what I mean real quick um, with my webtoon that's on uh, webtoon <laughs> canvas section. So let's go ahead and go to the, let's click our internet browser and I already have it pulled up. Um, if you want to know how to access webtoons, uh, how to act, how to publish, sorry, on mobile, all you have to do is click the re request desktop and it will pull up webtoons um, desktop version so that you can upload it on your mobile device. I, I have a video that talks about that, but anyways, I digress. <laughs> so as you can see, this is my webtoon and there are multiple different images that are sized at around 800 by 1280. And when we go ahead and preview it, you see it looks like one scrolling vertical webtoon, even though these are actually just individual image files, but you can't even tell, can you? So that's a common misconception that happens with webtoons, like how are vertical scrolling webtoons made. It's literally just comic pages stacked on top of each other on a webtoons platform. And webtoon platform just makes it vertical. While like, I think we're used to the horizontal platforms, um, well web comics, <laughs> that web comic sites like how Smack Jeeves used to be or Drunk Duck or whichever, they had like a vertical scrolling or even with Comic Press that I use on my website, that one also does the vertical scrolling. But since we are now like trying to have more mobile responsive websites, a lot of sites are now doing the vertical scrolling so it can be read vertically on the, on the phone. So that's it's, it's legit the same thing as web comics, just the web pages instead of being side by side, they are stacked on top of each other. So that's how you make a webtoon. And let me just go ahead and go back to Ibis Paint. So how I'm going about formatting my webtoon, I'm actually drawing, this is a short story that I'm doing. <laughs> I'm actually drawing it in book format because I do want to print it. And then I will move the panels around. Oopsies, let me, I know who I'm doing. <laughs> I will move the panels around to where they are stacked on top of each other. And this is, again, this is the 1600 by 2400, which when I shrink it down, it goes down to 800 by 1200. Perfect for uploading. I usually do about two panels per image file because also with Webtoon, there is a size limit. Let me see if I can go back. Here we are. You can only upload about 20 megabytes worth like the files and all of these files for this episode just came up to nine megabytes. So if your webtoon is a lot longer and you have more panels and more story, usually that's why uh, I kind of, that's why I keep in mind how many panels I draw per image. I try to do two panels per file just so that I can make sure I'm staying within the 20 megabytes as well. And then, oh, also with the DPI, I have another video about that too. But some people like to have their resolution down at like 72 DPI. I prefer like 600 to 350 or 300 DPI. I'm excessive, so I there's don't take my word for it. <laughs> like I've said many times, I I'm winging it. I don't know what I'm doing. 
I, I very rarely do, but I do it anyways. And that's what I do. <laughs> but let me just go ahead and show you what 72 DPI will look like. Let's see. 72 DPI and just, it, I don't like how it looks. Because it, it looks kind of blurry when I, uh, zoom in. you see, it looks blurry when I zoom in. I don't like it. You can't really see it on here. Let me click the back button. You can't see it. I can't, well, the, oh, oh, I just did a blog post on this. It's on my website, I think. I did a blog post where I shared what the 72 DPI looks like when you upload it. It looks a little blurry. I don't like it. But you can do it if you like it. <laughs> But that 72 DPI will help your file size. If you really have like a really long episode, it will help your file size to be small. So it won't go over that 20 megabytes file size. But I like to keep mine at around 300, 350. And I don't really have a very long webtoon. I keep it short and simple. And, and yes. <laughs> so I think that's all that I wanted to share today. That's, this is... This is my webtoon in the making right now. I, I mentioned in the previous video that uh, it's a story about a girl who's self-conscious about her voice and then a guy who can't get enough of it. Not just a guy, that's her best friend. But the, it's a wholesome story. Just, just It's wholesome and it's like a pick-me-up because I also hate my voice. <laughs> You know, growing up being told to be quiet and stop talking and why are you talking on you know all the time you kind of get self-conscious like oh what's wrong with my voice i'm i must not be allowed to talk so this is a story where he's basically going to help tell her you're allowed to talk there's nothing wrong with your voice talk to me but don't look at me <laughs> but yeah so that's that's the short story that's what i'm working on it's going to be in webtoon format and book printed format and I'm going to attempt to do it with Ibis Paint. Uh, I'm going to kind of challenge myself because I usually draw... Oh, my messy, messy desk area. I usually draw on my Mac and my Centweek, but I... And I usually like just on my iPad, I just do doodles. Like, let me pull up one of my doodles. I usually do like doodles like this. See, I'll draw doodles like that or doodles like that or like that. So I usually do like stuff like this on Ibis Paint on my iPad. So I wanted to try doing a whole webtoon because like I can tell you guys what you guys can use and how you guys can make a webtoon on a mobile device but it's like I think it'll be more useful also if I kind of show you guys. <laughs> so I am going to like yeah I think I'm probably going to have the speed draw or speed thing paint of me doing my thumbnails. Um, they're not finished. They're just, it's just the thumbnails of my webtoon. I'll probably have that playing over what I, over what I'm saying or after the video. But anyways, that's basically what webtoons are. <laughs> my, I ramble so much. That's basically what webtoons are. They are literally just comic pages stacked on top of each other and they appear to look like long vertical pages. But when you upload them, they're actually uploaded like regular comic pages. So I mean... It, you can draw in this format or you can draw in this format as long as you upload in the 800 by 1280 that webtoon says you should upload you should be fine and and that's how you do it okay that's all i'm rambling i hope you guys enjoyed this video and and what happy vlogmas <laughs> bye